Creating a carousel is probably the most addictive part of building your online store. It's not only fun, but it's a huge piece of valuable real estate right smack dab on your homepage. Now, creating your carousel can also be really frustrating because it's a huge piece of real estate right smack dab on your homepage. Now, to avoid massive brain overload or just wasting your valuable time, we're gonna go ahead and show you some highly effective things you can do with your big commerce carousel. There are many ways in which you can utilize your carousel. Some of our clients use it to help build their brand, answer shoppers' common questions, communicate what they do, make announcements. The list goes on and on. Although there's no one-size-fits-all scenario, you wanna make sure to have a goal for your carousel. It's a great opportunity to engage with your shoppers. The first step is to take some time to think about what you want for your shoppers to do when they arrive to your store. Next, you'll want to consider three main items to start. Having some great images, writing enticing copy, and including strong calls to action. If you're not already aware, a call to action or CTA could be something like shop now for your most popular product. You can also test things like add to cart, buy now, or learn more. So long as your CTAs are direct and make sense, you're likely heading down the right path. Again, you want to have a goal and then tell shoppers exactly what to do, so they do it. Let's jump into the control panel to get started with the Big Commerce Carousel. In your control panel, select Settings, Design, and then Carousel and Social Media. Depending on which design theme you've chosen for your carousel, the sizing will vary. For instance, take a look at the Clarity versus Cookies and Cream design themes it's quite clear the sizing of these carousels are different. This means that you need to pay close attention to the size of your images to avoid distortion. In order to find the exact sizing you need for your theme's carousel, you can look right here on the blank carousel image. Now, I know you're wondering, how the heck do I make my images the right size before adding them to my control panel? Well, there are tons of photo editing tools out there like Photoshop and Illustrator, but you're likely gonna have to pay for them. If you're on a budget, you can check out free online tools like GIMP.org, GetPaint.net, and Pixlr.com. All of these work well, but Pixlr.com is particularly easy to handle in our opinion. Actually, we love it so much that we've baked it right into your BigCommerce store. Simply go to Content and select Image Manager to upload images to your store and then edit them via Pixlr.com right here from your control panel. However, if you want to get nuts, go ahead to Pixlr.com for even more tools and functionality. Once at Pixlr.com, click the arrows at the bottom of the page and you'll see Pixlr Editor and Pixlr Express. Go ahead and choose Pixlr Editor to get started. Simply upload the image that you'd like to use from your computer. Very often, your photo will be a different aspect ratio than your carousel. We need to try and match our image to our store's preferred carousel size. Remember, we're trying to get an image to be 980 pixels by 450 pixels. The toolbar to the left will have all of your tools, and they're also listed across the top file menu right here. To cut your image down to size, you'll want the Crop tool. At the top, set the constraint to Aspect Ratio, and then enter the width as 980 and the height as 450. Now we'll crop our image down to a usable area by clicking in the upper left, and dragging our cursor down to the lower right. You can always drag around your image once you have your crop area created. By dragging, we can get that perfect position. This photo will be great because we're leaving some really great room for our CTA, or that call to action button. Now, many themes will have the text positioned on the left of the carousel. If this text is gonna be in the way of your image, you can always flip your image in Pixlr by going to Layer, and then Flip Layer Horizontal. Now just go ahead and save your image so that we can upload it to your carousel. Now sometimes you'll have smaller items that you need to add individually to make a carousel image. You can absolutely do this in Pixlr. This time, create a new image. This option will allow for you to set the canvas size first so that you can match the width and height of your theme's carousel size. Let's go ahead and fill in 980 pixels wide by 450 pixels high for this particular example. Once you have your canvas, Go to Layer, and then Open Image as Layer. You can move your image around the canvas and place it wherever you'd like. Now a quick note, just make sure to save as you're editing your photos. We all know what it's like to lose hard work. 
If you have a color background in the image that you'd like to match to the rest of your carousel, go ahead and use the Color Picker tool to pick up the color of the background in your picture. Then, use the Paint Bucket tool to add that color to the rest of the canvas so that it blends together really well. Pretty snazzy, right? Have a background that's a little bit more complex? You can go ahead and tinker with the Brush tool, Clone tool, Eraser, and so much more. There's tons of things buried right here inside this toolbar for you to play with. There are even loads of tutorials online under this help menu to help you understand how to edit your photos and just answer some specific questions you may have. Now, once you're feeling good about your image, you can go back to your BigCommerce control panel under Carousel and Social Media. The first thing you'll need to do is delete your sample carousel images. To add and delete slides, you'll work from this row of thumbnails located right here. Simply click the small gray X on the thumbnail to remove a slide. Here, you're gonna have two options. You can either drag and drop your image or select the file from your computer wherever you saved it. Now, once you have a few slides, you may find you wanna reorder them a little bit. Simply grab them and drag them around to shift the order. You might also wanna change the speed in which your slides transition on the front end of your store, and you can do so right here. Great. Now, what do you wanna to say to engage with your shoppers? Go ahead and use the heading, text, and button text fields to work on your carousel's copy. Please do not forget to add a link for the call to action button. There is nothing worse in a shopper's experience than clicking on something and nothing happens. All right, so once you have things just the way you'd like, go ahead and press save, and then refresh your storefront so you can view all of your tweaks and adjustments. Excellent, that should help kickstart your carousel. Now, while you're working on launching your business, try not to get too hung up on this aspect as you really wanna make sure you're open and ready to take orders. You can always come back and tweak your design as you see fit.